it's Jeffrey with Real Enough View Vintage, and today Barb and I are back at the Antique Mall. I haven't been to this one in a while. Barb has recently went with her husband. Yes, his first time at probably any, in no, he probably has been in some Antique Mall before. She said Maybe. that he did good. Yeah. Like he walked around, didn't walk ahead, yep. seemed interested, Yeah. was awake. So that's great, <laughs> but today we're going to go into this antique mall and see what we can find, possibly things to buy and resell, but that's, you know, it's, it's hard, you know, it's, it's kind of hard sometimes, but we're going to do our very best. Maybe the booth with the flamingos is going out of business. <laughs> I thought of one circumstance that might happen, but I hope it's not true, but let's oh, go inside. Yeah. <laughs> that's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? I think this might be called a shell pattern. They don't unusual. Say. They're calling it unusual. Oh, king size. That's why it seems so big. And expensive. But actually, 35 but is I like not it. bad at all. You should get it. Wouldn't it be nice on the couch, although it's so big? But and you're setting it down for some reason? Well, it's heavy. I just, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I only like Afghans if they're soft enough. What would you say about that one? I think you could make that even softer with the little downy or whatever they make. Well, I'm afraid to wash them, though. Ew, you're gross. Well, I guess as long as I don't put it in the dryer. Um, I think you could soften that up. It seems it's not scratchy like right. some could be. We'll think about it. We could wheel I'm it not around. I'm a big fan of this, this little chair. one. That's like a baby color, but... Oh, Barbara, I love it. It's like a Neapolitan ice cream. <laughs> I like... I mean, yeah. It's I cool. love all the colors. We'll think about it. Here's another one. Oh, but that's yeah, not I don't shell. Like, I'm not a burgundy or a brown or... Well, that, that color fan probably has it. Well, I guess it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. That dog is kind of neat. What is this? What does this remind me of? It when, reminds me of when somebody signs somebody's cast. Right. But I'm trying to remember. Like I, I feel like I've had a stuff. Like I've seen something like this where somebody signed a dog or signed an okay. animal. Maybe it could have been like a class signed it for their teacher or. What does it say? Autograph. Doc Dachshund for eight dollars. That's actually not a bad yeah, price. Not bad. That's oh cool. my gosh! I've never seen a horse. Of course, of course. Twenty dollars. Mm. Uh, I like this dog. Now, yeah. what age would you assume this to be? Is there um, a number on here? Did somebody sign their year? My There's, guess, if I had to guess one, would be seventies or eighties, if it could be, but. 61. Oh, could good. She, could it be 61? I see a 61 underneath Cindy's name. In well, fact, some of these names, like Susie. Oh, right. Here, wait, here's a 57. Ooh, I'm going to buy this. I like it. Somebody's going to have fun reading all this about maybe, do we have Jim? We've got Jim and Blue Moon. Tom. Tom, his name's on the butt. <laughs> Somebody else put it right down the seam, well, for a better word. This whole booth is? I don't know. Yes, the whole booth is Barb. Oh, cool. And this Bluebird of Happiness would be $4 today. I, what, I think it was last time, too. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean everything would have been in here. I, I could do these. They, I mean, these sell for like $12. Oh, well, this one say, oh, that's right, it's half off. <laughs> like, what? Oh, look at the little mouse. That would be five. Uh, I can't. I can't bring myself. Could I bring myself? I could have in one lifetime brought myself to that, but it might have to just be this one today. These are signed by Leo Ward, 1984. Well, that's a very early date for good old Leo. He has been at it for a while doing his stuff. So, uh, yes, I will get the two. Ooh, look at that. I don't want the starfish baggie. Oh, this is $35. That is so original looking with that. Isn't that cool? Little brass jardinier. 50% off is fun. We love a good 50% off booth. Uh, hopefully everyone is not annoyed by that air conditioner in the background. I know, I always get annoyed by those things, but. I tune them out personally, but it's a little bit hard to tune out on a video. Yeah. I'm not sure why that is, but it happens. You're a pretty blue. Oh, you've got chips. Meh. Okay, I've done all I can do in this booth. 
Have you done all you can do in this booth? Yep. Be all you can be in this booth. 15%. Oh, yes, we already knew that. Would you like to buy this for $5? Oh, the house. house and a hat? How did you? Oh, my gosh. I what? opened the door and everything trying to get in through that thing, and you just reached right through. <laughs> I was about to make fun of you and everything. Like, they're <laughs> silly my hand barb. Was gonna... <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's funny. Oh, goodness. I'm not, I don't, I don't like that right there, so I don't think I'm gonna. Okay. Booth rented, so somebody's gonna come into this one. Look at that cool table. Barb. Oh, yes. I love it. Wonder if they're gonna sell it. Cute. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. We Look at all of these here. things. The box and have those. Maybe, now they've got these foldable rulers. Okay, that's $18 for that ruler. That's a no-go. Um, salt and peppers. I don't think I like any of those for resale. Here's a fun little missus. It's a bell from Spain. $350. I think that's actually a good price for this little figural bell. It's in good shape. And it says España on the inside. I like that little bell. I don't see anything wrong with it at all. I like the colors. I think it's very clever. It's a very clever bell. Now this booth looks the same as it did like four months ago when I was last here. So I don't think I'm gonna give it much thought. I think I will go ahead and put this up at the register so I'm not all handless yeah, so no, early. Oh, I love that. It says mother. Whoops. It's $16, that's pretty. Ooh, how much is he at? I want one of those Santas or the trees. Those are $10 each. Not bad. This is one on sale. <laughs> I mean, those aren't bad for retail. They, uh, I've seen them as high as $14, $16. Especially whenever you go over to St. Louis. Well, that's true. Online, you can get them for about that price, but you're paying shipping too. Mm -hmm. So then we've got all these little doodads. What do we see? Anything we like? Anything we like? So we're in a 50% off booth and I found this adorable cat. And it is for like your earrings. It's oh, like, do you put them in the holes? Uh-huh. Oh. So it'd be $6, it's 12 right now. And you could put your like your rings, I guess, on the little tray underneath it. That is beautiful for $6. It's half of 12. So, that's a definite. Oh, look. Hmm. With the Amberina for, it's gonna be too much. Oh, it I mean, be $12. it's $12. Huh. I mean, honestly, it's not too, too much, but that's, yeah. would be 10, the clown would be 10 today. I got a basket. I decided to get a basket because before I was just going up and like back and forth up to the front. So I gotta fill my basket now. I gotta feel accomplished. And fill my basket, that's the goal. They have some cute things in here, but in this booth right here, but they're not the cheapest. In fact, there are the two quilts right there that we looked at last yeah. time. Were they 150 or were they like 200? Uh, I don't remember. It wasn't cheap. Uh, they want $38 for the wishing well. Yeah. That's the one that I sold on a life sale. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But they're not gonna, I don't think they're gonna get $38 for that. Now these shakers are $20. Are they Occupy Japan? Just say, oh, yep, they are Occupy Japan. But $20. Darn. Roger's repurposed. So he's repurposing things, is he? So tell me, what are you doing with this? Are you, is that a baby bed now? Doesn't seem entirely safe. Uh, are this Polish pottery? Some people like this stuff, they collect it. Little Polish pottery. So, creamer, $5. Is this a spoon rest? A spoon rest for seven. A big old cup for 15. And you have some Delft blue. Some Holland items. Five dollars for the cup and saucer. 
That's a cute little um, lamp. It's a plug-in model. Interesting. Well, look at that little dog for a dollar. Looks like it's part of a bookend, but you don't need two dogs for a bookend. Yeah. The collie dog. It's in great shape for just a dollar, and it is marked Japan on the bottom. So I would put that in my Look at this for two dollars. Oh my gosh, that is like really cheap. Two dollars. I love that price. In fact, they have great prices here, period. These little trees. They're like little crafted trees. Only a dollar and you get two trees. I'm afraid to move this. Mm -hmm. Not bad. See what it says. I'm going to move it on $2 for all seven. I think it's Mark, probably gonna... pretty new. Uh, it says, what? Year Ocon? Yeah, I've never Mars. heard of that. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know. I don't see a mark on the back of these. No, this one's right. This is the, yeah. This is a cute metal tray. It says Florida for $2. I like that. I don't see any wear on it, really. It's very cute mid-century. I don't usually see trays like this with the oranges all over it. And Barb found a beautiful lamp. The cord's not too beautiful. Yeah, I just wash it. But that's really an interesting mid-century lamp. Hmm. That orange. I get the bulb in there. Does the plastic unscrew? Oh, I guess or so. Or just pop out? That's really a tonic. Yeah. I should put this in my cart because I just don't have the hands for this job right now. They've got little gold leaves. Three dollars is really good for those gold leaves. In fact, this is pretty too. They have three dollars on it. They're saying antique face, which isn't really true. This is a vintage face. It's PY Japan. But that is a really interesting shape and colors. I like it for three dollars. I like that a lot. And Barb scored with her lamp. Hooray! You can light up your life. <laughs> Okay, I added these. These are ceramic. A pair of these egrets or whatever they are. They're gold, but they are ceramic. I added those. I'm setting my cart down so I could look at this booth because I need all the hens I can use. It's like a resin. A $10 duck. This is a different booth here than we're used to seeing. Oh, that's cool. This reverse painted oval picture. A butterfly, a brass butterfly. I know that was mostly Erica, but still. It's ten dollars. The napkin holder. But it's in like an Art Nouveau, sort of a styling from the 70s. Oh, and that's adversely in an Art Deco sort of a styling, isn't it? Oh, do you put like a business card there perhaps? And your letters? How much is this? Five dollars. Hmm. And it was sold at a yard sale for like, what do we think, 10 cents? <laughs> I don't know. This little dog caught my eye. I think he's adorable. 650. He's just has his little paws up he's sitting there. I, I, I'm trying not to, but I have to, so we'll try. I'm pretty sure I could sell it for about 18. 18 to, woo! Oh, that's $20, that brass kangaroo. Cannot do that one. Look at this cat, though. That's $9.50. It's not bad. A blown amberina piece. 750. That cool eagle statue up top. What are those? Oh, Florida whales. Are they treasure craft? I don't think so. Probably not. No, I guess not. This horse, the horses are only $1.50. Now the, the color.
color is kind of scratched up out of the seagulls. $5.99 for the seagulls. They value their birds. The silly dog with an umbrella in his mouth. Look at this wood carved cat. That was the Dickens gift shop. $22.50. Or you could get it today for $9.50. His whiskers are crazy. Oh, look at this poodle. It's new. Oh, are you a new poodle? How dare you be new? Now this booth is 20% off. And I saw this little guy right here has a horse on it with a horseshoe. You could hold your letters, but you could also hold your napkins if you wanted to. And it is only $1.50. So that is actually a fantastic deal. And it's this coin, I think it's copper, or at the very least it's made of metal. So I think it's cool for $1.50 plus 20% yeah. or minus 20 bruise it off. I deposited my other items up front, so that's why I'm I'm low on my basket. I, I chose to do that. How much is, oh no. How much is this spike? The spike is $1.50, okay. I'm buying the spike for $1.50. <laughs> How much is the honey jar? $5. Well, I wasn't expecting that quite honestly. Taiwan. And this one. Eh, butter buds, natural butter flavor. Okay, so I usually do not get to find Murano type glass, Murano Italy glass, but I think this is that. I think this is Murano Italy glass. So it has the gold fleck in there, which is synonymous with that style of glass coming out of Italy. And it has really interesting colors. The pond teal has been smoothed down, which does help me think that it could be that. It's a better quality. There's another piece over there. It kind of reminds me of like an end of day, like with all the colors, end of day glass huh. and buckets and things, enamel buckets. This is $42. Weird. So this one is $17.50, by the way. Huh. I think I'm going to go ahead and just take a chance on it because I see no reason not to at this moment in time. And I also just noticed a big old elephant. Let's see, I hope it's like, I hope it's $20 or less. It is $12. <gasps> well, that's a big elephant. I have to get that, don't I, Barb? She's not very enthused. I will get my big old elephant. Well, here is a little Mexico Tanala style pottery fish for just $4. It is marked Mexico. Fishy. Fishy. You usually see them like in their little birds and things, but there's they also a duck or a goose or whatever that is. That one's six. I think I'm gonna refrain and just get the fish, because I think fish are fun. You don't usually see fish. So we'll get the fish. This is a pretty cased glass. Oh, it's $10 though. That's Kawana, Kanawa. Oh, you can't see it. Mickey Mouse chocolate? Oh no, it's just actually rubber. For five dollars. Here's some alabaster. Um, twenty dollars, and you get all six. And some nut bowls. Well, look at the squirrels. Three dollars. I could probably sell that for eight to ten. Oh, I could not because his paw is broken. Well, let's just ignore that one. Look at the squirrel. <laughs> Oh, this is a gray one and it's also three dollars and still eight to ten for the squirrel 
I will get the one gray squirrel. That's a shame about the other one. A donkey pulling the cart. We've got the redware bears up here. The corns, those are five. Here are some of the Tanala birds. Two dollars each. And some shoes and some cars and a corkscrew lady. Okay, so actually I did really well here at this antique mall. I found a lot of interesting things to sell. And then Barb, you found a couple things. Now, yes, one... I found a cruel, like a floral, cruel picture and that orange lamp thing for two dollars. Oh yeah, that's right. So the two things total, your total was like thirteen dollars. Not bad at all. The cruel you should be able to sell for what do you think, like thirty or forty? Yeah. So that'll be fun. I didn't show that, but it was here. A while ago in a previous video it might have been more at the time maybe 20 yeah i was thinking it was 20 at the time but i don't know but for now we're gonna wrap up this video so thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe Bye bye